Pickles are ready. One. Velvet cream, as you can see right there behind me. So a few years ago, yes, we're, we're gonna have to deal with some uh, some automobile noise, just like we did a few years ago. Yes, a few years ago, uh, I came here to attempt their original Big Dipper challenge. Um, I'll put the link to the uh, the video description there. Um, so I'm actually back. Last summer, uh, Randy Santel came back into town and he helped launch the gallon of ice cream challenge that they have here. This place specializes not just in snacks, milkshakes, burgers, fries, which they have a crazy good assortment of that stuff, but they also do uh, homemade ice cream here. And so I'm here today to attempt their gallon challenge. I'm going to be eating a gallon of ice cream, uh, just like the Big Dipper challenge. No time limit, one sitting. You pretty much have until they close to finish this. But very, very happy to be joined by some friends, some longtime fans, and some brand new fans today. So this is pretty cool. It's always good to, uh, the more crowd support you have, the easier this is. So um, the, the gallon challenge, so uh, I didn't find out exactly how many scoops there are. They just said, hey, it's a gallon. I was like, all right, un understandably so. So I did mix up the flavors a little bit. You don't want to get too crazy because once you hit that sugar wall, the more complex and heavy the flavors are, the more difficult this is going to be. So I went with what I think is a strategically advantageous blend of flavor. So I asked for uh, a couple scoops of mint chocolate chip ice cream on the bottom. I, I happen to like mint flavor. It helps cut it uh, when I'm uh, cut the flavor fatigue when I'm uh, hitting the wall there. So the rest all the way up to the top is vanilla ice cream and then I went with a few when, when I'm fresh when I'm starting this challenge I wanted to get a little bit crazy with their flavor sample what they have to offer yeah, so on yeah, top um, I got a strawberry sorbet I got campfire s'mores lemon custard uh, blueberry cheesecake and uh, birthday cake ice cream so let's actually go I've been doing enough talking why don't we a picture's worth a thousand words why don't we let the actual footage show you what we're working with here see the blueberry cheesecake on top maybe it's buried a little bit uh, but I hope it's mostly vanilla because that's um, kind of what I order here so as I learned from last time and all of the other professional eaters who have came through since uh, they don't actually have tables set up here so I did come prepared um, I brought my own folding table because last time I had to eat in the back of my friend's tailgate of his pickup truck so I'm a little bit more prepared this time so uh, let's get prep oh speaking of getting prep so I did a couple things today that I think are going to uh, help me out a couple preparations that are hopefully gonna work in my advantage I did bring two containers of hot black coffee with me I know when you get that that brain freeze and that that sugar wall uh, something like that will cut through pretty nicely also, yesterday I did a stomach stretch with really cold fluid, which that should also help my stomach muscles get used to relaxing, expanding when there's cold in there, because typically if there's cold, they constrict up, and that's, that's not what we want to happen. That's not good. So uh, those two things I think I prepped well. I also did something that was not a good idea. Uh, last night, uh, you'll see the video for this. I'm going to eventually post this. Uh, I did the Death Nut 3.0 challenge, and I'm going to be straight with you. My stomach is still... Not really back to 100%. I am a hair nervous because of that, but I slept poorly. I had capsaicin cramps all night. Um, I don't advise that. That was a horrible, horrible idea. But here I am. The ice cream's out here. It, it's time to just, you know, shut up and do it here. So uh, we'll get started in a little bit. All right, we are rolling. Since there is no time limit, I can kind of just, like I said, take my time, just do this how I want. Uh, my soft goal is 1648. That was Randy Santel's time. Uh, I admitted before, my stomach is not feeling 100%. So I'll try to beat that. Uh, really, I should be doing this in under 30 minutes because after 30 minutes, it's going to get really, really difficult. But that camera's rolling. 
This camera's rolling. Uh, I'm about to get rolling here. So without further ado, let's kick this off. This is the Velvet Cream Ice Cream Gallon Challenge. All right, all right. Woo! Let's get going in. We got, uh, I think, the campfire s'mores and the birthday cake on top. Let's see how it goes. We're gonna get going in three, two, one. Let's see! Brain freezes, oh, it's kicking pretty hard. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. I should have let this get more sun. Oh. Side note, uh, so my mom likes ice cream. I was telling her I was gonna do this a couple days ago. <laughs> and she said, oh man, I could eat a gallon of ice cream in 30 minutes. Oh, mom, if you were visiting in town, I would have made you do this challenge right alongside with me. Little, little tougher than it looks <laughs> so far, I gotta admit. All right, we did hit the uh, the blueberry cheesecake ice cream, which is really good. I'm a little, oh, all right, I think there's the vanilla. I was a little nervous, it's just gonna be heavy flavors. All right, let's keep going. Some strawberry sorbet, that's really good. Too. Shout out to, you can't see off camera, my friend Sonia's here. Poor Sonia's in a boot, I've been there before, I feel the pain. Speedy recovery, speedy recovery. Fast food! Fast food! A little over eight minutes in. Oh, got some good news. I look like I'm about halfway through, and and I like I told you, I asked for a couple scoops of mint chocolate chip at the bottom. I can see mint chocolate chip peeking through. Woo! There, the light at the end of the tunnel is just a little bit there, but it is in sight. I just got to get around two thirds of a gallon of like other vanilla and blueberry and strawberry sorbet ice cream. Yeah, it is, honestly, this ice cream is absolutely killer. No flavor <laughs> fatigue yet. Good news, like I said, just brain freeze. softly, carry a big spoon. <laughs> One ice cream. Ah! Ah! Ice cream! Clenching up with the cold. Oh goodness! Let's get a little hot coffee in here. See if that helps. Didn't help. <laughs> this up, soften this up, and uh, let's keep going. Not, not gonna beat Randy's time, maybe, unless I pull a, a rabbit out of a hat here, but well on pace to beat 30 minutes, so that's pretty good news. So let's uh, let's keep moving away. Let's see if we can shoot for 20. That strawberry sorbet flavor is really coming in clutch here. It's a non-dairy flavor, and uh, that cuts through pretty nicely with all the, all the rest of the sweet, heavy flavors here. And gone. Uh, you're not gonna like how close I was. If I had my foot on the gas the whole time, I might have been able to beat Randy. I've got about uh, three-ish scoops left, so I'm getting very close. Uh, 
to 17 minutes now. Uh, let's, let's still try to beat for 20. Chip to the bottom. All right, I better stop wasting time. We're at 18:45. My new goal is 20 minutes. We got a little bit of drinking left to do, and we are almost done. Get the chocolate chips. I can't drink. Ah! in terms of uh, flavor fatigue, that was honestly not an issue. And I had more, I had a more, uh, the higher ratio of specialty flavors to vanilla than I was expecting. And I was a little bit worried as I was digging in, I was like, oh my goodness, where's the vanilla? But the ice cream was awesome. Like this is some fantastic ice cream here. So that was not a problem. Uh, mint at the bottom helped a little bit. Uh, the strawberry sorbet, I think was probably uh, the most helpful flavor throughout this, but Toughest part was uh, brain freeze, and definitely for whatever reason, this this one abdominal muscle over here was just really succumbing to the cold. Did not want to relax. It's still a little bit tight, but um, the hot coffee helped. I didn't even need to dig into my second container, so that was pretty awesome. Um, I would say, I guess I got a better time on this than I did on the uh, original Big Dipper challenge here. So I suppose this one was easier, but I don't recommend doing a spicy peanut challenge the night before if you're going to come out and do it. That is it. That is the uh, the velvet cream gallon of ice cream challenge. Oh my goodness! I didn't even show you. Check out. I got. Uh, I got my prize t-shirt on from winning the original challenge. Check this out, you can tell, smart people only. There you go. It's Einstein on the back of the shirt, if you can't tell. So, I'm gonna get my $30 gallon of ice cream mountain for free. Um, I don't know if I get a t-shirt, I already got a t-shirt. I'm kinda all set on food challenge t-shirts, if you hadn't guessed. Um, but that is it, so that's a good Saturday. I am happy to have uh, conquered both of the Velvet Cream food challenges. So without further ado, ice cream. Ah! Yeah! Thank you guys for watching and check in next time. <laughs>